What's cooking, you Venice fans? Welcome back to your latest favorite YouTube channel. Of course, today we're going to have your latest rundown of all the big news that you care about as Juventus fan. First off, we need to talk about Rabio. It's, I mean, it's pretty obvious given the situation yesterday and the way he played. The performance has been low. Does Allegri view him the same? Does he look at, his, at him as being expendable and potentially moving him out in the future? We'll fill you in there. Quadrado's new deal, we got to talk about that. There's a new defender option that Juventus may look at, but I think the competition might be a little stiff. And then when it comes to Benucci and Chiellini, what is their status as we go into the international break? Stick with us. We'll fill you in now. Ciao, ragazzi. Welcome back to the Bianca Nero. My name is Justin Sofro, and today is Sunday, November 7th, 2021. Again, as I always say, I have your latest rundown of all things Juventus, all that you care about. Uh, but first, before we do anything, like I always say as well, hit that like button. Please hit the like button. It really does make a big difference uh, for the algorithm, for our channel to grow, and to bring in more Juventus fans and to grow this community of what we're doing. Uh, as well, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. We are very close to hitting 1,700 subscribers, a nice milestone that we're really excited about as well as hit that bell icon to stay notified for our latest videos all right let's just jump into it let's get you the updates of all the news that you care about right now so as i said um obviously we talked about it a lot yesterday in the ratings and then the news that we talked about um post game whatever have you one of the names that was big uh, of topic was adrian rabio his situation the performance that he gave to juventus which was less than um Less than positive, <laughs> I guess is the only way that I could say it. Uh, he was one of the worst midfielders there out there on the club, and he even had me begging uh, to bring in Bernadeschi in the match. That's how bad you know that he was. Yes, I know some of you are going to get upset about that comment. It's a joke. Chill out. Uh, anyway, let's just jump into the news that we have, and that is Allegri um, talking to Sky Italia was saying that playing with the front three differently, Rabio is more of a midfielder than Bernadeschi. Then I wanted a response from him, which he gave tonight putting in a good performance. Okay, never mind. I am, <laughs> okay, this is, okay, maybe I'm a little bit um, getting ahead of myself with the next story that's coming up. I don't know. This is funny. I, I This is really funny because I, I definitely skipped ahead. So crush me in the comments, it's fine. I don't know how Allegri could be positive about what Rabio did yesterday. I don't see it at all. I don't know. I don't know of really any Juventus fans that were positive on Adrian Rabio's performance. This is shocking to me. I <laughs> the lead in really does crack me up that I said all that I said, and this is what I'm talking about. But he said he wanted a response from him, which he gave tonight, putting in a good performance. I don't see that. I'll be honest. Just give me. I'd rather have Bernardeschi in that situation. He's also cheaper too. If you're gonna keep one of the two, it's gonna be Bernardeschi because he's cheaper. Um, let's move on to the second part. The part that I just. I wholeheartedly disagree with what Max Allegri was saying and the phrase that he was giving Rabio. Here's the part that I was really getting into, and that's uh, Juve News 24 was reporting saying that Newcastle may be interested in Adrian Rabio. There is interest in Rabio from the Premier League, in particular from Newcastle. Scouts are at the stadium yesterday. Juventus are looking to get 15 million euros for the player. Um, this is something, again, and I know, I know I'm, I'm diverging from the way that Max Allegri was talking about it, but I have also seen reports out there today as well. Um, Saying that, you know, the club overall doesn't purely believe in what Rabio is bringing uh, to the table. I don't think that they believe that long term that he is going to be a good option. And again, I talk about it each year. It's been the same story when it comes to Rabio, where he starts off really, really slow. And maybe he's doing it again this year, but I haven't seen any kind of sparks to really prove me otherwise. But every other year, he's done this thing where he starts out slow, and by the end of the year, he looks serviceable. The problem is, is looking serviceable at the end of the year isn't enough to get you a spot and retain that at what Juventus should be and what they should be competing for. Um, to me, I personally think it's time to... There's players like Rabio who don't really fit into what Allegri is doing, regardless of what he just said. I just don't believe that he's going to fit in long-term to, uh, to Allegri's system, and I don't think he's really the best option for Juventus right now. Let's um, So we'll see what happens with Newcastle. That seems to be the option of where he's going to end up going um, in the potential near future. Then we can go to the next topic, and that's Juan Cuadrado. Obviously, Juan E.C., who ended up winning the match for Juventus in a pretty fantastic uh, performance there right at the very end. Obviously, he didn't come in for the whole match, but when he did, he stepped up when he needed to, um, driving the ball in just an exciting way. I don't even know how he got the angle for that shot. We don't need to stick with that, though, right now. But basically what we're talking about is Nicolas Shira is talking about his uh, contract. Basically that Juan Cuadrado's contract extension with Juventus is until 2024 and inside the final stages. 
He'll be renewed. It'll get done. Obviously, Juan Cuadrado is not really one that we're really worried about when it comes to him getting. Obviously, he deserves it. I feel like he deserves it. I know prior to the game-winning goal, he maybe didn't have the best uh, string of games. He seemed a bit tired. He seemed a bit out of it. But overall, I like what I see from Juan Cuadrado. I want to keep him long-term, and that's good to hear. So we're not as worried about him as much as we're worried about getting that Dybala contract uh, done yet. But I promise, no, no Dybala talk today, no Dybala video, none of that. Once the pen hits paper, uh, we won't talk about any more meetings and meetings and meetings. Let's move on to the next one, kind of a more exciting one. It's basically the idea and the topic of potentially a new player that Juventus could be going for. And it's a player maybe at a position of need that they really could look at, and that's a defender. And that is um, a Primo Canale is reporting that Juventus are monitoring center back Andrea Cambiasso. Uh, from t- the year 2000, he was born from Genoa. The competition, however, will be ruthless. In addition to Milan and Inter, several foreign clubs are looking at him. Uh, Leicester, um, Sevilla, Dortmund, and D- 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 Dortmund. I don't know why I said it that way. And Watford as well. So he's definitely going to have a lot of competition for him. That means to me that he's a good player. To me, this seems to say that this is a player Juventus should go after. And if we know anything right now, if we proved anything yesterday... The center back position is a position that's going to be of need in the very near future when you have players that are injured. Obviously, you can go by Manucci and Chiellini and their situation. We'll touch on that one in a second. But also when you're uh, when you when you don't have other players to really back them up right now, you got the licked and hopefully we'll see what his future tells. Hopefully they can keep him. I, I'm, I'm nervous about his future, but then there's also players obviously that you have out that are on loan and then you get stuck with guys like Rugani who Again, he had a really good performance yesterday. I can't really, I can't do the old Justin routine of ripping on Rugani. I don't want to see Rugani on the pitch. I think a lot of people shared my point of view, but I have to bend the knee. He did very well yesterday. He stood his ground against Vlahovic, and I was really, really glad to see that he uh, he performed decent enough. He's performed better than I expected, which the bar was already low, for being honest. All right, uh, so that's a player. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think about Andrea Cambiasso? Do you think that would be a good option for Juventus in the future? Could you see him being a uh, solid uh, option to actually stick and maintain and maybe be a replacement down the line for the likes of Bonucci, Chiellini, so on and so on, maybe teaming up with the Ligt in the future? Let me know. All right. And then we've got the last little bit that we really need to talk about today, and that's about Benucci and Chiellini and their status when it comes to the international team. Uh, Tudo Sports reporting that uh, both Benucci and Chiellini will join the Azzurri squad, but are not able to play against Switzerland and will most definitely return to the club as they are both currently injured. They are out of commission. Um, this is one of those topics where it's uh, I'm iffy on. Obviously, when I say iffy, I'm I'm pulled both ways, and you know me. I talk about it on here all the time. I am an Italian shell. I'm a shell for the Italian national team. I love the Azzurri. I always have a uh, yeah, soft spot for them in my heart. It's what brought me to being a Juventus fan. But and, it, and these are World Cup qualifiers, so they're important. But these two guys are injured. Juventus need these guys to be, you know, recuperated and get back and get into get into a healthy uh, sta- state, so that way they can perform moving on down the season once they return them into after the January Mercado, whatever happens from there. Um. And I've also kind of been pretty high on the book saying, you know, guys need to rest. Like, everybody just needs to rest. At this point, guys that are injury, that are weird, that are weary, um, whatever have you, they need to rest. They need to recoup. So that way we need to see them performing at their highest capabilities once again. Um, I think the Italian national team should be okay and should be fine without Benucci and Chiellini. Um, Honestly, injured players, what good should they be doing for them currently? And I feel like Juve- and, uh, Juventus. I feel like the Azzurri should be able to handle was it Switzerland and uh, I can't remember the other other team, but I think the other team is worse than Switzerland. So hopefully they can handle them both and comfortably, uh, you know, seal the deal when it comes to qualifying for the World Cup. Anyway, guys, uh, that's really all I have for you today when it comes to all things Juventus. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you have any thoughts or opinions when it comes to any of the players or the uh, topics that we talked about today. Do you think Rabio should stay? Do you think he should go? Feel free, like I said, roast me <laughs> that I was completely wrong on what I thought Allegri was going to say because I just expected him. He's Allegri. I expect him to come out and just start roasting guys, especially guys like Rabio. I was wrong. 
Anyway, let me know in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and hit that bell icon to stay notified for all our latest videos. Also, I haven't said this in a while, but if you are new to the channel, please let us know. Uh, I understand a lot of people like to subscribe, watch the videos, enjoy the videos, but what we're really doing here, and that's, I feel like, different than a lot of uh, Juventus community, not just Juventus community, just YouTube channels and, and period, is that we really want to have involvement with our community. We want to know each of you. We want to have that interaction. I love the guys who have joined the member squad. If you haven't already considered joining the member squad, it's very cheap. It's only about, like I said, it's it's less than a cup of coffee to join each uh, each of the tier. The first tier is a euro 99. Second tier is two euros 99. Uh, it's a little bit like, I think it goes up to like maybe translate to the English dollar or the English dollar, the U S dollar. If you're American, like myself, it's about three, three thirty, three fifty, 50, something like that. It's not expensive at all. And it's only that once a month. Uh, you get a lot from it. You get to uh, become a member. You get a little cool badge by it. You get to access our discord where we have constant ongoing communication with each other. But the most important part, if you become a member of the Beyond Canary Zone, uh, I think it's the lounge level, is that you end up getting access to call-in shows once we start doing those and we launch those in the very short near future. You can rant, you can rave, you can say whatever you want, and nobody can stop you. We are not going to censor you and your opinions when it comes to Juventus, unless you're saying something extremely damaging, obviously. Um, Anyway, consider all that, and then like I was saying too, if you're new to the channel, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let us know who you are, where you're from, and how you got here as well. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. Forza Juve, Forza Bianconeri.